Hi guys, welcome back and today we are going to discuss about the most important key on your keyboard while working in Excel. Yes, we are talking about F5 on your keyboard. Whenever you press F5 while working on an Excel sheet, you get a go-to dialog box, correct? Now, you can do a lot of things while using that go-to dialog box. That's what we are going to talk about. But before I start the video, if you are new to my channel, I would like to welcome you and please check out my videos about Excel tricks and tutorials. If in case you have any doubts, you need any help, feel free to contact me. Check the links in bio. Now let's start the video. Now, when you press F5 on your keyboard, you get this go to dialog box, right? And the shortcut is Control G, which you can use also if you want. Now, here, if you see this option that says special, if you press it, you will get a lot of options to select and I believe if you would use Excel on a daily basis so for sure you have used some of these functions but here we are going to talk about all these options which we have under this box one by one now the first option which we have here is notes now let's see how we can use this function on your screen, I have a set of data where I have some name, age, and some results. Now, if you see some results here that contains some kind of comments or notes, you can see these red marks here. Similarly, if I go down, there are some other notes also, or you can say comments. Now, if I have to select these comments, not all the results, just those results that consist of a note, what I have to do is, I will press Ctrl G, I will go to the special box and I select note and then OK. Now you can see all the data which consists of a notes or a comment is selected automatically. Now the second option here is constants. What are constants? Any text or any number which you have on your sheet which you type, these are constants. Here you can see these results like Tracy, numbers, numbers. But look here, the 53 is a addition of these two cells. So it's a result of C2 and D2. So it's not a constant. Only text and numbers. Now let's see how it works. I will press Ctrl G. This time I will select constants and I click OK. Now you can see all my constant, including text and numbers, are selected, correct? Now the next option is formulas, where we have some categories. Now let's talk about the first category, that is numbers. Now on your screen, you have this number, this number, and this is a addition of C2 and D. Here we are talking about formulas. So the numbers that we will get through a formula will be highlighted or you can say will be selected. So I'm going to press Ctrl G, special tab. I'm going to select formulas. I'm checking all other options except numbers. And here we are. Now all the numbers which are a result of a formula will be selected, correct? Now the next one is text. So if I'm going to highlight and select like only the text under formulas category, all my text which are a result of a formula will be selected like this. Now you can see the G column is selected. The reason is I have used a formula here basis on F2 and that's how this column is selected. Similarly, if I select the logical. Now, what does this logical means? A logical simply means either true or false. If there is any kind of formula that gives us a result true or false, it will select those results. I'm going to use it. Now you can see the results here. H column is selected. So keep this thing in your mind if you are selecting the logical column then only those data that consist of true or false will be selected, okay? Now, let's talk about errors. 
So as its name suggests, it will select all those data where we have errors. Now, let me do this. Let me uncheck other options here. The I column that consists of some errors. Okay. So I hope till now uh, it's very easy actually. So you should get an idea how exactly these things works. No matter you are a beginner in Excel or you already know these function, it's good actually to revise these things from time to time. Now let's talk about the next one that is blanks. So basically it is going to select the blank cells in your Excel. So I'm going to select my table first. Now if I press Ctrl G, I go to special tab and then blank. Okay. Now you will see all the blank cells is selected itself. Correct? The one which we have here is current region. What does this mean? Now let me do it first so you will get an idea. Like this. Now you will get that region selected where you have your data. That's it. All the sheets, all other cells on your sheet will remain like the way it is. Your complete data will be selected. Next one is current array. This is going to be interesting. On your screen, you have a basic data. This is not an array. I hope you understand uh, what's the difference between uh, normal data and array. So we are just going to fetch a small array from this data using offset function like this. Now I'm just going to press enter. Oops, I missed some width here like this. Okay. Now still it's not an array. It's just another data from a big data. Now look at the formula bar here. Basically, if you're typing an array here, you should press Control shift enter and now it's an array. Look at the formula. It is having a curly braces. Now, if I'm going to use this current array option, you will see my array is selected. That's how it works. Moving forward, if we talk about objects, this is quite easy. Object simply means images or diagrams which you have on your Excel sheet. I just put some random images here like some circle, square and emoji. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to select objects and bingo. All my objects are selected now. The next one is row difference. On your screen, I have taken some rows with some numbers on it. Now, if you see, there are some numbers that varies. So basically, before we use this function, we need to select our data. Then I have to select on row difference and OK. Now you can see the difference here. Those number which are differ in that row is highlighted. Now how it compares. So basically, when I select my region from here, it will consider only those number which is different from the first entry. Like if it's two, it will going to highlight those number which is not equals to two, which is different from two. Because here you have one in first cell of the row. So it will highlight two. Let me show you again. I'm going to select the data and then row difference like this. In the same way, the column difference work. Just select your columns, go to special tab and column and bingo. Now the next one is a last cell. As its name suggests, it will help you to go to the last cell of your data. Now two things, if your uh, sheet is complete blank, like if it's a new sheet, it won't move anywhere and your active cell will remain to A1. But now you can see like this is a blank sheet. I am just creating some borders on the sheet like this. Now if I'm going to use this option of last cell, you can see my 
active cell moves to N16. Similarly, if I'm going to extend this, if I'm going to use it, <coughs> Now the active cell is on O21. Now let me create a new sheet for you. If I'm going to use this function now, last cell, it won't move. It will stick to the first cell. There's visible cells and I believe most of the people use this on a day-to-day -day basis. Now on your screen, you have some uh, data basically where I have some item name with their sub to. Now, if I just want to copy and paste this, you can see I'm getting all the data, not the one which I copied. So in this case, what you need to do is, you need to press a Control G or F5 and then select visible cells only and click OK. Now you need to copy this data and paste it wherever you want. That's how it works. Now the next one is conditional formatting. By using this go to special and selecting conditional formatting, you can select all those cells where conditional formatting is used. Uh, so let's suppose I'm going to create a formatting here. I'm going to use a formula equals to E2, E9, greater than 25. So it should highlight that with some colors. This. Now, if I'm going to use this option, conditional formatting and OK. Bingo. You can see all those columns where conditional formatting is being used is selected by default after using this go to special option. Now, the next one is data validation. It works exactly just like conditional formatting. All your cells where data validation is being used, that will be selected. So as of now, I do not have any kind of validation on this particular data. So I'm going to use it. I'm going to make it simple for you. I will select whole number between 1 and 100 and OK. So now if I press Control G, I go to this data validation, I click OK. Bingo. Now, that's how you can use Control G or F5 while working on your Excel sheet on day-to-day -day basis. Please do use these things or these shortcuts as it helps you to save your time. Do let me know if I miss anything or if you have any doubt with any of these things. I would be happy to help. Thank you.